Hi Virgo, it's Karen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. And for those in the US, this is our week of Thanksgiving. And so I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving and safe travels if you are heading out to a location. So for this weekly reading, we're gonna take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, the guidance and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. So we have the Five of Swords in reverse. We have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Strength card, Major Arcana. When we see the Five of Swords, you know, in its upright position, it's a card of conflict, of arguments, of someone clearly coming out on top and others kind of either slinking away in shame or uh, just feeling defeated, which may not be the best feeling in the world. In reverse, however, re the reverse, I believe, of the Five of Swords is that, you know, there's a desire that you want the conflict to be over that you just want to get back to the way things were before. And, you know, conflict is tiring and sometimes it's important just to walk away. This can also suggest that, you know, maybe you've gotten pulled into in a uh, conflict that is not yours and you've just kind of been dragged into it. And again, no, you know, that's not a positive energy for you and you're thinking that you just want to get away from this um, and to move on. Sometimes when we have, whether we're involved in a battle and things don't go the way that we hope they do, uh, we let it stick around for a bit. And so if that has happened, you know, try to find a way to move past it and to let it go because it's just going to just keep rubbing you in the wrong way. So with the Five of Swords, it's really a desire to be just to, you know, take a step back and away from arguments, skirmishes, um, things that don't allow people to work together or to agree. Sometimes it's it's okay to let your t ego take the hit and accept the defeat. Um, other times, you, maybe it's important to you to stand firm for your beliefs and that you're going to come out on top at all costs. But, you know, it's specific to each person's, you know, point of view and, and how they live their life. But this card is... Uh, you know, hope, hopefully that the conflict can be put in the past and you're able to move on. Now we have the Three of Pentacles here and the Three of Pentacles is a card where we have mastery. We have someone who is uh, working hard putting in these pentacles here. He's a builder. He's creating, working with this pair. It's about collaboration. It's about working toward a common goal. Uh, it's about recognition for your abilities and that uh, you could be developing a reputation within the community of your good works or with your um, expertise and that people are seeking you out. So this card is about, uh, it's a group card of people working together, skilled, mastery. This can also suggest or indicate that you're going to be getting some training, having additional training within your career, and perhaps you've been able to put aside some battles here, whether it's for control of a project or if it's, um, again, people maybe taking credit for something that they didn't do, uh, that you're able to at least put this Pass to be able to work successfully here with this Three of Pentacles. And then we have the Strength card. So this Strength card is a beautiful illustration because I, I love the blues in the background. So she is 
um, she gently is touching the lion and the lion has this wreath of roses around his neck and, and you know this is a sense of this gentleness of of uh, showing strength through gentleness and perhaps of being open and being compassionate it doesn't always have to be through animal or brute strength to get um, your way or to come out on top of um, forcing people so this is much more about soft control it's about not letting your animal instinct instincts take over which might be to strike out at someone or maybe to um, you know take you want to take what's yours this strength card is telling you that you have the strength within you have the heart and you have the courage to do things that are right and to do things that are going to lead you to your own success for you to reach your goal to um, you know to make it uh, through the adversity that comes your way and perhaps the adversity um, includes the, the arguments the disagreements the conflict the um, laying down the sword but this strength card is really a, a lovely card because it really is asking you to believe in yourself, to have faith in your own abilities to handle things, and that you will be able to handle whatever comes your way. And, you know, that's the human spirit. And the human spirit, based on love and compassion and empathy, and reason and emotional and an emotional heart all of these things play into into giving you the strength and the end what you need to be successful in life so this is a uh, uh, interesting reading just always because of this little five of swords which is you know it's the it's the daily wear and tear with people that sometimes can want us to like uh, you know take refuge and just to spend some time alone because sometimes people are difficult and it takes a lot of patience and a, here is a lot of patience and a lot of a lot of um, inner awareness to be able to work with others and to work successfully with others so let's take a look at the numbers. We have um, five and three is eight. And then eight plus eight here, interesting, we have at 16. And that reduces to one plus six equals seven. And seven is about reflection, about discovery, about knowledge, really tapping into your wisdom and your mind. But also the, the presence of eights here is also worth noting it's about personal power it's about accomplishment so let's close the reading i will um go to my sacred rebels deck here i've already shuffled i'll just give it a few more shuffles and uh we'll go from here Sacred Fool, the Sacred Fool. So we see this looks like a woman here uh, sitting here and it's the Sacred Fool is about um, that carefree spirit of trying new things, new beginnings, allowing yourself to feel, allowing yourself to feel the wonder of life and the journey of new things happening and to be free and to be open-minded and to be flexible and to again to have faith within yourself and your own abilities and to have a desire in the in your heart of what you want to do with your life and the sacred fool means that you know your beliefs and your desires and your hopes are sacred to you and that um, you must create your own path you must take your own risks 
Sometimes things work out great and sometimes they don't and that's just part of the journey. We pick ourselves up, we dust ourselves off and we keep on going. And you know, whether you're 15 years old, whether you're 25 or whether you're 95, we all have this sacred fool within us that wants to, um, that wants the excitement of newness, of, of new uh, heights to reach just within our own life. So I hope that you have a great Sunday and that it's productive and happy and peaceful. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's a great way to stay connected and to show support. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again tomorrow for another daily tarot reading. Take care. Bye-bye.